Hello everyone, it's Magic here and today I'm going to be comparing uh, the Black Mist diffusion filter with a White Mist diffusion filter. Uh, look at these two. I'm going to test them out for portraits. So what they do, they're going to soften the skin, they're going to soften the highlights and they're going to make this nice bloomy effect. And a couple months ago, I actually tested a bunch of Black Mist filters in collaboration with Nisi. So if you're interested in just uh, checking the strength comparison, there's a video on my channel. Uh, today, I have a brand new White Mist filter. So I'm going to see the difference between White Mist and a black mist and this white mist also made by Nisi, the sponsor of this video. So yeah, let's try them out. All right, so the general difference between white and the black mist is that the black mist should not touch the black color and the black parts of the frame. So it should only diffuse the, the brighter parts of the frame and the white one should just diffuse whole frame so we're going to check that out as you can see we have the kind of low light it's uh, peeking through some clouds but also going to be i'm guessing we're going to get some clean uh, sunlight coming you know without any diffusion from the clouds and i'm going to try to play around with it backlit front lit i'm going to show you the differences uh, on a sony a7 r5 with a 50 1.2 g master without filter with black mist filter and with white mist filter. So I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna to try to shoot through those leaves. They look nice. I'm gonna have you know, sun coming kind of through those leaves. You can see my wife, my beautiful model, there's a backlit on her hair. So we're gonna see the differences basically. Let's start. So. I kind of already can tell after the first uh, shot that if you want the ultimate dreamy look, the white mist is the way to go, but I'll let you judge yourself. So let's find uh, some more cool locations here. Okay, now a bit of more open space, so there's even more light coming. Uh, as you can see, the light is gonna be coming straight uh, here to the lens. So again, without the filter, Then I'm doing the Black Mist 1.4. And now I'm gonna be doing White Mist 1.4. And as I'm moving around, now I'm gonna try to avoid the sun directly in the frame so I, I don't want the sun to be actually you know blooming over the old photo so we're, gonna, we're just gonna see how the filter is gonna diffuse the all the bright portions of the frame we have this beautiful uh, kind of reflections from the grass uh, it looks really nice so yeah I'm gonna start again no filter at all bam bam black mist First, and whiteness. There's a second one. Yeah, I do think it looks great. I do prefer actually this look than the look with the sun in the frame. Uh, let me know down in the comments what do you think about it. But I think like if you have this kind of light bouncing here, it looks really great. So now I'm just gonna use white mist and we'll use the same location just to grab a couple more frames with the white mist so we can see the effects. Uh, I'm gonna make it extra dreamy. So keeping the light kind of close to the frame, but not directly in the frame is giving you that nice kind of light fallout happening. And also we have like slight of little drops of rain, which if 
they appear in the photo, they look really good. So the weather is actually perfect for this kind of dreamy scenario. It looks good though. And as you can see, I'm gonna now take one portrait without the filter at all. So you can see how it actually does soften the skin. Um, so I'm gonna do the... Specifically with a lens like this, which is a 50G Master, very sharp lens, uh, 61 megapixels with A7R5. If you want that soft look, this is the way to go. It looks, it looks great. Okay, now I do think enough of this backlit. Let's try some front lit, like especially look at this. We have a dark clouds and like direct sun, which gives amazing contrast. And all those greens, we're actually, I, I didn't tell you, we're in Cyprus. It's, it's nice here. It's winter in Cyprus. This is winter in Cyprus. So yeah, let's go here. So I'm gonna do no filter, black filter, white filter again. I have to tell it, tell myself that too. So no filter, black. I think here I can see the biggest difference now between the white and the black mist filter. Now the white one is just giving me the overall like this bloomy effect. Uh, while well, the black one retains the black colors, as you can see in the photo. Uh, let's move maybe slightly farther. Are we losing the light? Okay, the light is gone. Okay, so I had to transport in time and space because it just got raining. And now it's evening today, it's still kind of no sun. You can see this like bluish sky. So I'm gonna try white mist in this overcast vibe on a couple shoots. I'm gonna just test a couple of these, you know, dreamy couple portraits uh, with this without direct light. So you can see how it works. So the first one without, bah, very nice. And now with the filter, Okay, so now I'm doing the white mist filter. That's perfect. I'm just gonna take it out so you can see without filter. So that the filter does work also <laughs> without the direct light. It just softens the all image. Yep, so that's the white mist. Actually, I do think that if you're after that super extra dreamy look that everything is super dreamy, uh, the white mist it's kind of better than the black mist if you want to keep the contrast and just have slight of these highlights bloomy and you know dreamy then the black mist would be the one to go also check these photos i shot them in tokyo or like at night just walking around with a camera and shooting with a white mist i do think that under kind of night city lights it does look great but yeah i'll let you judge these so thanks so much for watching thanks so much for nisi for sponsoring the video and see you guys in the next one